Hello everybody, hope you are enjoying your day at the conference. My name is Fuen Santos Zambrana Ruiz. I am a teacher of the Alexander Technique and also a violinist. And today I'm going to be sharing my approach to working with young musicians in a high performance environment, such as especially music schools in UK. I'm a specialized in music education, teaching children from KS2 to KS4 and pre-college. I love working with them and I hope you enjoy my discoveries, challenges and some tools to take away. The challenge I face when I teach in a specialist music school is that I arrive into an environment where the main focus of the school, teachers and pupils is towards achieving one primary goal preparing excellent performers. So we are not talking about students that have multidisciplines and that they are in a more explorative phase in their lives. They know quite well what they want. Music is their main interest and they love playing their instruments. In my experience, there is an increase of interest and engagement from the pupil when I connect the Alexander Technique to their main activity of playing their instruments. But by that time, playing their instrument, it is quite of a complex activity that requires high performance results to achieve during the year and with quite a strong and established habits. So how do I connect our beautiful work of the Alexander Technique where we focus on the process, we slow down and increase awareness through simple activities like sitting, standing, walking. How do I connect that to their passion, to the complex activity of playing their instruments? So to face this challenge, I use a set of tools, box and activities that allows me to make a transition from the simple activities to the more complex activity of performing the instrument. And that also allows the pupil to stay interested and engage into the process. This set of tools and activities are also connected with other areas of their playing, like practicing, warming up, rehearsing and performing. Today, I'm going to show four of my favorite activities and I hope you like them. Sticks are great to simplify the habit and make a nice transition to working with the instrument. I have two sticks of different sizes when I work with violin and viola players and only one stick when I, play, uh, when I work with wind instruments. So the first thing I ask the student is to hold their sticks as they will going to hold their instrument. Immediately you can observe which ones are the habit. Might be all sorts of different habits happening. Then after that, and after you observe what happens, you can have a chat and then play with the sticks in a different way. So one of the things I do is that I then trick the mind. So this is just a stick, but I ask them to put it in the same way and place as they were put their violins. How much energy do they need to hold this stick? Now, what will happen if we put the stick on the other side? Will it feel the same? Do you need the same energy? And play with it both sizes. Then you can expand the exercise more even by using the bow or the other stick. And what happens when they start moving the other stick? Does the mind go to the habit of the violin? Is the habit coming? You can experiment and do lots of different things with sticks. The 
Doing some easy movement during the lesson is a great way of connecting to their instrumental practice. They can use a repertoire of movements to warm up before they practice time. And they are also a great way of connecting movement with their activity of playing. So I'm going to demonstrate one of my favorite exercises. It's called breathing with your arms movement. So you just breathe in, arms up and breathe out, arms out, breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out, last one, breathe in and breathe out. Then arms out, breathing in. And then let's go to the instrument and then release. Breathing in, arms up and then release. Go to the instrument, relax. Breathing in, again going to the instrument, allow the gravity to be there with you and release your arms. And the last one, breathing in and releasing the arms. Easy on your neck, balancing, breathing and release. It's a great way as well to introduce directions and awareness while moving. There are lots of different games involving a ball. They are really fun and I highly recommend this one to do with young musicians um, and especially if you have groups. So the game is as simple as passing a ball from hand to hand and counting four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Now keep doing this and let's introduce some directions. I love the three questions from Lee Warren. Are you seeing the room around you? Are you breathing? Are you balancing? Now on the third beat, we're going to pass the ball at the back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four, great. Now on the third beat, we're going to pass the ball under the leg. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Super. Now on the third beat, we are going to pass the ball with the arms up like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Noticing, are you breathing? Are you balancing? Are your eyes soft? Now let's touch the ground on the third beat. One, two, three, four. 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 Cool. This is a really nice way of introducing movement, having fun, working on your coordination and having lots of different directions and awareness while doing the game. Etudes are a brilliant activity by Mio Morales and his method Primal Alexander and it's a great way of introducing inhibition and constructive thinking into the simple activity of holding the instrument. So what we are going to do is that we are going to break down the movement from neutral to playing position and we're going to give a number to each one of those movements. So number one is from neutral to the violin coming to the collarbone Number two is when the violin is going to come a bit higher. Number three is the head rotating. Number four is when the head is going to rest on the instrument. 
Then we're going to put a pause in between each number. So it will be one pause movement, two pause movement, three pause movement, four pause movement. If you want to expand it, then you will pause, put a pause and a constructive thought in between each number. One pause, constructive thought. Two pause, constructive thought. Three pause, constructive thought. Four pause, constructive thought. As a constructive thought, you can use any thought that improves your coordination. You can have a repertoire of different constructive thoughts and invite the student to choose their favorite one. If students are interested, engaged and having fun, they will start listening. And with that, they open the door to explore in a different way, outside from the habit, which will bring a different experience and feedback. And it is when the trust starts. And with the trust, it comes the love to our work. So the more I explore connecting with my students, with their needs, their interests, their passions, the better the connection I get and the better is the learning process. So keep experimenting, adapting and having fun. Thank you very much.